I'm Chef Mark. And because you can go to restaurants in these strange times, let's bring you some restaurant recipes at home. Fast, delicious and easy. So let's get ready to rumble. So today's dish is the risotto. The reason I chose risotto is because with risotto you can actually add anything that you like into the risotto. Everything you have in your kitchen, just add it, it will be lovely. Today I make a risotto of some nice mushrooms, a beautiful vegetarian one, but you can do everything that you like. Whatever you have in your fridge, use it in a risotto. Make it on the spot however, because risotto a day in advance is not a risotto. So let's start. So what do you need for a good risotto? Of course risotto rice. For the texture it needs to be risotto rice. A good stock can be any stock that you like, in this case I got a beautiful vegetable stock. stock. Then I get some onions, some garlic, some dried uh, herbs, an egg for the yolk at the end, of course some parmesan cheese, very important, uh, and then I got some mushrooms and a bit of uh, uh, wild mushroom puree, just to add and uh, flavor things up. So let's start. And now we start off with chopping uh, a little bit of onion, really important to have a little bit of onion on there. And of course we're going to brush the mushrooms and we're going to uh, chop the garlic, etc, etc. So, it will take you, like, depends on how fast you are, a few minutes. So, we got the broth, we got a nice big pan, really important that you use a big pan, so you can really stir. Add some olive oil, and uh, any olive oil you need, just basic olive oil, don't use any expensive olive oils. Yeah? It will only uh, make your dish less. Yeah? Good olive oil is for salad, and the normal ones are just for stirring, frying, etc. etc. So uh, we got uh, the olive oil in there, add some onions and the garlic. And you want to glaze it, you want to have it like a really, really nice, you don't want to brown it or anything, just turn off the heat a little bit. Use a wooden spoon and get everything out there. But it needs to be a little bit more olive oil. It needs to glaze. It doesn't need to brown or anything. So, onions, we got the garlic. Now we're going to add already some of the nice herbs. Because remember, we don't want to use too much salt. Yeah? We just want the herbs and the, the broth to do their trick and the saltiness of the, uh, uh, of the farmers and the cheese. That's about it. Next up, the risotto. So, this beautiful risotto. We're going to add into our bowl, into our pan, sorry. And just keep on stirring it. The trick in a good risotto is stirring, a lot of stirring. And what we want is that the risotto is going to get a little bit glazy. So a little bit translucent almost. And already get these nice flavors on there. And what is important with risotto is keep on playing with heat. Sometimes you need it high, sometimes you need it a little bit lower. But just keep on playing with the heat. But always stir. So, now we just want to add the warm stock into the risotto. Just enough so it's just underneath. Not too much. And now we're going to give the risotto about approximately 15 minutes it's going to take you to have the perfect risotto. Keep on stirring so the starch comes out of the risotto. And just let the beautiful broth incorporated in uh, this beautiful rice, in this beautiful risotto rice. So keep on doing this for about 15 minutes and keep on stirring so the starch from the risotto will come out so you get this really beautiful velvet texture. Some people at the end will add cream to it. I really think it's not necessary because risotto is already creamy in structure 
and by adding cream, well, it's just, for me it's an overkill. The risotto and the ripe produce will do the trick. If you do it with shellfish, great. If you do it with green asparagus, yeah, fantastic. But do it anything you, any way you like, but cream you really don't need. So we're almost there. The starch is coming out of the risotto, the stock is almost done. If you don't have any more stock, just use a little bit of uh, hot water, it's not a problem. Um, but just make sure it's nice and thick. And as you can see, the starch is coming out. And we check the risotto by taking one grain, tasting it, and it needs to have a little bit of a bite. Just a little bit, not too much. It shouldn't be raw, it should be have a, a little bit of a bite. And what we're going to do now is, as you can see, the risotto is really, really thick, really getting there. And at the end, we're going to close the pan with a lid and wait for a few seconds. And we're going to fry off some mushrooms now. So, while the risotto is resting and getting done, we're going to do uh, some uh, fresh mushrooms. Fry them a little bit. Make it nice and golden. The same herbs we used earlier, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and we're going to finish that off with the dish. So the mushrooms uh, separate, gives it a bit of an extra stru structure, but of course you can also get some beef with your risotto or just nothing. Yeah? I prefer to have a little bit of extra on my risotto and for the creaminess that I said earlier, I use an egg yolk, so uh, that's why we do it like this, nice brown color. So we're done here, the risotto is done here, so let's uh, finish it off. Because I gave it a little bit of rest, you can see that the risotto is nice and even now. So now I'm going fin to finish off my risotto. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, paste from uh, a little bit of, well, I'm lucky I had some truffles, but uh, some paste for, um, uh, with mushrooms to give this a little bit of extra flavor. But do this at the end, really at the end. So all these flavors will stay in there. Mm, I wish you could smell this. So there you are, your perfect risotto. It should run a little bit, yeah? it shouldn't be really firm. And we're going to plate up now. To plate up. Always take deep, deep plates for a dish like this. So, plating up a nice rich bowl of risotto. As you can see, that's the real risotto. And we're going to add a little bit of the mushrooms. mushrooms that are in season so it's March so it's time for the morilla well in Europe that is and uh, but any mushroom will do or any veggie or shellfish or whatever you like there we go. now I'm gonna separate an egg so put a nice little egg yolk on there and of course some parmesan cheese so there you go, your perfect risotto let's uh, talk wine now uh, I serve it with a Pinot Noir, of course uh, Piemonte area also very nice, the, the Nebbiolo grape Lange I prefer, Babresco, Barolo if you go with white, please do so, but take a bold one a big, big, complex Chardonnay like a Rousseau or something from uh, the California area. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe and uh, any comments, please put them down here and the recipe you will find also uh, down here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time when I'm going to make my pumpkin peanut soup.